Now in my thirties, my forties in Bangkok were slightly different. I think I'm a little too used to wander and navigating alone. It's simpler then, but traveling with a wife is more fun. I feel like I know, I know, I know. I can no more prioritizing getting good shots like I did before, but that's all right. Yes, sebesar ini semua penjuru di sana je lah kan dia punya apa? Hmm. Running about twenty-five years. That the ten rules. When the ten left from the man pub, they will see the guy that will leave. All the people they. I let her be chatting up on the trade arrangement. My great unknown was the itinerary, and I thought that was quite exciting to be in that position of discomfort and uncertainties. I like the food. The commuting here is quite a breeze. We're minutes away from Sukhumvit Line, from where we're staying. The Bangkok meets Miami interior is definitely a bit of a start to where our trip leads us to. Thematically, we throw it some seafood-based sandwiches and more, a long black and a whole lot more in these 40s, and a Singha soda at around 2, 2:30 p.m. I don't know. As I was a bit starving at this point. I was a bit picky of an eater, so it's always been a full four-day battle of scouring a proper, proper Muslim food. We ride the 100 baht SkyTrain just ten stops to the market. We skip the train next morning for a more practical boat ride to floating market. Tried some award-winning pourovers at the Brave Roasters, visited an old-age temple, and rented a minivan for a three-hour drive to the province of Nakhon Ratchasima the next day. Where we stopped at a place called Khao Yai, Pak Chong District. After a countless seafood burgers and other iterations, I must admit I had enough of them, and it was right on time for us to fly home. <laughs> Love, love,